I'm about to tell you a very beautiful myth, Andres, so pay attention. There are several versions of this story, but above all things, it's a love story. Ew! You mean like a fairy tale? Well, not exactly. This one's about an Indian princess and a young warrior, but don't interrupt me and let me finish, alright? The name of the story is... The Myth of the Volcanoes. Thousands of years ago in Mexico, there lived two young Aztecs. He was a warrior captain and she was a beautiful princess, the daughter of an important cacique. They were in love, but war had broken out and the young man had to go to fight. Before he left, the old cacique promised him that when he returned triumphant from the war, he would receive all the honors he deserved for the victories, and also his daughter's hand in marriage. And so time went by. The young man focused all his efforts on winning the war, and the thought of his beloved princess kept him alive. And she dreamed of the day when the young man would return and they would finally be married. But one day, the princess received terrible news. Her beloved warrior had died in battle. She was so upset to live without him that the princess became lovesick. As it turned out, the news were not true and the young man returned triumphantly from the war. He received all the rewards promised to him for his victories, but all that remained of his beloved princess was her cold, lifeless body. Not knowing what to do, he took her in his arms and wept and wept. He took her away from the village, far from the rest of the tribe. There, he covered her with flowers and burned incense. Day and night, he kept watch over her with a lit torch. The pain of the warrior mixed with his anger at the gods for allowing something so horrible to happen. He yelled at the gods. And the gods answered him. The earth shook and the sky exploded in a storm of rocks and lightning. The members of the tribe look in horror at what was happening in the distance. Then silence fell, and to everyone's amazement, two snow-covered volcanoes appear on the horizon, and to this day they still crown the valley of the Anahualc. One is Istasiqual, which means the sleeping woman, and the other is Popocatépetl which means the Smoking Mountains.